Welcome to the Waves and Wheels channel. My name is Jake. This is my van. Check it out. than living or camping in an old van is camping or living in an old van when it's hot. You need the proper ventilation to survive that van life. It's what I call the fan life. Fan pop out windows. There it is. So today I'm showing you my vent installation. So the Max Air Mini Plus I purchased because I got it for $90, so it comes on sale every once in a while, and I picked it up from Camping World, so I'll put a link, and it just comes up on sale every once in a while. I'm sure you can check it out. It only had a handful of reviews by uh, not regular customers, so I'd say it's an inaccurate description. I've had it in with no problems. We've got a fan, it draws air out, and the light feature, and the fan and the light. Really powerful little motor and a bright light. And this is the vent to open and close. You can see there. So really much sleeker profile and $90 that beats the 250 for the Max Air Plus with all the bells and whistles and it makes toast for you and everything. So that is the van, the van vent. Check it out, here goes the build. Right at 14. Okay, here's a question I had. We'll address it now. How about if your roof has these uh this shape to it right with these ridges on the roof well do you need to get that flat do you need to take a hammer and smash that down flat that was the idea i had no you don't need a flatten it okay if you got these don't worry about it the butyl tape is going to go right here just like this tape is sitting it's going to stack up real thick right here to level that off and then thin right there on on top so and then same on the outside, thick, and then just a thin bit on the high spots, on the high ridges. That's just the shape of a lot of roofs. And so that's probably a common question. Beetle tape is the answer. So here we go, let's clean up the edges. Line the tape around the outside. That'll get us give us a, an approximate limit. So that's how it goes. A little knife, a little blade is convenient to have just to cut it, and we'll just go ahead and lay it all the way around. We're all screwed down. So I just got them nice and snug. It kind of wants to warp this, uh, this flange. So, you know, I was just careful not to tighten one at a time. You know, I tightened them all a little bit at a time, all the way around, just trying to keep it even. Now that that's done, we need to cover up the tops of the screws with some silicone, but some wealth, some lap, some self-sealing lap sealant is the best stuff to use.
Last thing is measure the height of the roof. So the, um, the roof is going to be from here, from this top down to the paneling. So I only have about an inch and a half. The manual tells you how much to cut the, the sleeve. The sleeve is what fits in between the top of the vent and the bottom. The bottom being the one inside of the light and the fan, and then the top being the cover. Vehicle roof thickness, one to one and a half inches. And a sleeve not used, length of screws, inch and a half. Bam, we got a little bag with inch and a half screws. Sweet. How many amps does the Max Air Mini Vent draw? To answer that, we'll look right at the Max Air Mini, Mini Plus, their user manual. Okay. It says, requires a minimum 12 volt DC, two amp service. Okay, minimum two amp. That's uh, the minimum wiring for two amp. You ought to gauge it for a little bit higher for the max amperage that it could be drawing. So probably three, four amps and you calculate your wire gauge based on that. That answers that. Comment if you've got any questions about installing a, a van vent and hopefully everyone can just help each other out. Okay, see you in the next one.